Happy, happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in on this week's episode of The High Life. We're going to be talking about the magic of love. For those that don't know me, my name is Silas Valentine. I am a life artist and a self-realization teacher with Ecstasis Culture. Listen, if you love love, if you want to bring substantial change to this universe, go ahead and hit the like button below. Without further delay, let's get started. What do I mean when I say the magic of love? The word magic is defined as the power to influence, I'm going to read it to you, the power to influence the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. Love is magical, right? And see, see, love is the most powerful, influential force, the most powerful energetic force in all of the universe. Only love has the magical properties to be able to bring substantial and sustainable transformation to our world, our communities, and our individual lives. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. I'm not talking about the kind of love that says, I love you one minute and the next minute I don't like you so much. I'm not talking about that kind of love. I'm not talking about the kind of love that is manipulative or places laws and restrictions upon you, the kind of love that is conditional. I'm not talking about the kind of love that is religious BS, you know, that says, listen, I love you, but if you do this or this, I won't love you anymore. I love you, but you can't act this way. I love you, but you can't do this thing. I'm not talking about that kind of love. I'm not talking about conditional manipulation. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the kind of love that is limitless. I'm talking about the kind of love that is absolutely 100% unconditional. I'm talking about the kind of love that is so present in this moment that it couldn't possibly keep a record of your wrongs. I'm talking about the kind of love that in no way, shape, or form thinks of itself first, but is always thinking about the object of its affection. I'm talking about the kind of love that is selfless. I'm talking about the kind of love that is so powerful that it, and only it, has the potential and the power to change the world. Now you're watching this video today because you saw the magic of love and you want to bring substantial change to your community. You want to see the world change. And it begins with you and it begins with me. It begins with simple random acts of kindness. It begins with loving your neighbor. It begins with loving your husband or your wife. And I'm not talking about loving them in the way that maybe you've thought before. I'm not talking about loving the things about them. I'm talking about truly, genuinely seeing the best in them because that's the kind of love that changes things. When all you see is good, when you look at another individual and you can't help but look into their eyes, eyes and see their perfection, see their beauty, see how good they really are. That's the kind of love that transforms them. That's the kind of love that has the potential to change the course of events in another individual's life and in the, and in our, the world around us, in our culture that we live in. That is the kind of power that is within each and every one of us. At the very core of who we are, we are love. At the very core, the very essence of who we are, every single one of us, we're not white or black, male or female. We're not straight or gay. The very core of who we are, we are love. We are this energetic force. And the more that you awaken to that force, the more the world around you changes. The more that you awaken to that force, this force within you, the more your family will change. The more you awaken to this inner reality, this inner force, this inner magic, the more your own life will take on new meaning. The more your own life will take on more fun, more pleasure. This is the high life. A life of love is a life that is continually high. Matter of fact, scientists have said that when you love and express love, you release dopamine and all kinds of other beautiful chemicals in your body that make you feel really good, really high. This is the high life. 
The person that is judging, a person that thinks he's right all the time and is making judgments all the time and is keeping a record of wrongs, this person can't possibly enjoy their existence. They are continually in a state of misery, in a state of constant, perpetual judgment within. And only love has the power and the potential to set them free from this judgment. Only love has the potential to change their world, to change their life, to change the way that they see things. The Bible says this. It says if you are born again, only if you're born again can you see the kingdom. And what Jesus meant when he was talking about being born again and seeing the kingdom is when you begin to be reborn, that is, you've begun to awaken to the spiritual life, everything that you see is kingdom. Or if we were going to use his words, everything you see is love. Everything you see is perfect. Everything you see is good. And you stop looking through this personal lens of good and evil, of duality, and you start only seeing through this perfect lens that all is good, that all is finished, that all is is love and loved and in this one moment when you see when you only have the ability to see this way every single person every single set eyes that you look into you see their perfection and when you look at your husband or your wife you no longer see the person of yesterday but you see this brand new being standing before you that is perfect in all their ways when you look at your neighbor or you look at a stranger You look at the homeless person on the side of the street. You can't help but see how perfect they really are. And you are moved, compelled by this energy within you that's bubbling up within you. Compelled to express this thing that you're feeling. That is the kind of love I'm talking about. I'm talking about the kind of love that you you love so strongly that no matter what somebody says about you, whether they're physically persecuting you, hurting you, threatening you, no matter what they do, there's this compel, this compulsion within you. Ah, I love them so much. This is the kind of love. This is true love. And this is the only kind of love that has the power, the magic to bring sustainable transformation to our world help me start this love movement get in on this love movement and begin to express the love that is within you to a greater degree go out there and do random acts of kindness i want to encourage you right now to look for ways to serve and to express this love look for new creative ways to express how you feel about your spouse or about your significant other about about the individuals in your life maybe those that you have yet to meet look for ways to express that i want to i want to tell you thank you for watching this video thank you for participating in love with us if you want to do a deeper dive into what love is all about into life artistry into into well pretty much anything of depth you can do a deeper dive go to stasisinstitute.org and we'd be glad to have you as a student there we'd be really happy if you would join us there so go to stasisinstitute.org Um, check us out there. Listen, remember this one thing, the more you awaken to the love within you, the more you play. Happy, happy Saturday, everybody. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The High Life. Do me a favor, hit like, comment what you think about the video, and be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future.